I'm Billy Mack. Welcome to my garage. So what we're gonna do today, gonna get that oil barbell in place, gonna put on the front timing cover, make sure the uh, harmonic balancer is installed correctly, and where we go from there, I guess we'll have to find out. Here we go. So you can see here, get a little bit of rust from sitting around. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some 1500 sandpaper, 1500 grit sandpaper, spray a little bit of uh, liquid wrench on there and polish it up a little bit. All right, so I've tossed on the uh, a little bit of the liquid wrench. Now I'm gonna spray down the sandpaper with a little bit of liquid wrench as well. Now this part is pretty self-explanatory. However you feel like you need to hold it, you hold it. Whatever motion you feel like you need to create, well, have fun with it. Okay, so that you start off with talking dirty, and then you start off with just uh, uh, stimulating him manually, t tickling, touching, just gently teasing him, literally teasing him. And there you go, after a couple seconds, it cleans up pretty quick. So now, let's get the uh, front cover set in place so we can throw on the harmonic balancer. What that'll do is that will align the front cover. Give it a little clean one more time. First thing I'm doing here is throwing on a couple of bolts just to align up the, uh, the gasket. We're gonna set some of these bolts in for now, loose. Again, just to make sure everything is all lined up. We're not gonna tighten these down. We're just gonna set them on for now. Now that that's sitting in place, we're gonna throw the harmonic balancer on, and what that will do, we'll make sure that this cover is centered where it's supposed to be. So, this is the harmonic balancer bolt that came out. This is the one that's going back in. They're only a few dollars, so I recommend everybody picks them up. Apparently they stretch quite well, and uh, what's the sense? What's the sense of taking a chance of that breaking off? There's a harmonic balancer, stock, uh, this one here, Cleaned up, give it a little light coat of paint just to make it look somewhat pretty. This thing here is a harmonic balancer kit. Harmonic balancer installer kit. Now, will you use these? Probably not very often. So fortunately, I can head down to the local Canadian Tire and rent one of these. They cost nothing to rent, you just put a deposit, you get the full deposit back when you return the tools. All right, the balancer is sitting on, just barely. Now we're gonna use that tool to actually thread it on. Okay, so now that I have one of the uh, extension arms in there, we now bring over this part of the tool. There we go. Let's speed this up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the old, the old one, and now use that to drive it in. Okay, harmonic balancer is on. Now, what I'm going to do is use this straight edge along the top here, just to make sure that our timing cover is on as far as it needs to be.
Great, so it should be pretty well aligned. As you can see, that's what you want. Everything completely flat up at the top. So the gaskets and everything fit on. Beautiful. Now it's time to figure out how to get this out of the block. I don't have an engine uh, hoist, so we're gonna have to be creative here. Let me see if I got any self-tapping screws. There you go, there's a stock one. I uh, self-tapping screw wouldn't go in, so I drilled a little pilot hole and it popped right out. Make sure it's all clean, throw in the other barbell. So here's the new barbell. Pretty simple concept. This end goes first, we'll oil it up a bit, and then when you wanna pull this one out, you can just uh, thread right into it. Pop it right back out. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of oil, set it in place. All right. All right, so a little bit of oil, slide it in place. Perfect, cheap insurance. So since I needed two hands, I threw on the rear cover, the main seal. As you can see that plastic, plastic piece that comes on the new main seal gaskets. Uh, it's to help align it up. But we're still gonna get under here and we're gonna make sure that everything is perfect. So right now you can see it's a little bit too high. So we'll push it down and get her bolted in. Okie dokie, it is in place and on. Gotta run through the school. Gotta go pick up Olivia. I'll torque these down when we get back and maybe we'll throw that oil pan on. Here we go. So I'm back from picking up Olivia, taking her to gymnastics. Now I'm gonna torque these down. 18 foot pounds for the rear, 18 foot pounds for the front. Let's get going. All right, all torqued up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten down these and flip the engine over, get started on that uh, oil pan. All right, so what we need to do first is make sure this is good and clean, the whole area. You can see there's some oil leaking out from, from in here. Um, and then we'll start laying out the, uh, the gasket. But yeah, let's get it cleaned up. So now that it's all clean, we are going to start laying out the gasket, uh, the liquid gasket first, the, the blue silicone, and then we'll lay on the other gasket with the oil pan. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of that blue silicone RTV in around these areas. I'm gonna scrape that down a little bit with the razor blade. The gasket is sitting up a little high in a couple spots, uh, and then we'll get the RTV on all the corners and make sure everything's good to go from there. Then we'll throw the gasket on. Okay, so now that it's all clean, we're gonna do those four spots. I can't hold the glue at the same time, so. All right, as you can see, they're just on where the uh, the block meets the timing cover and the rear main cover. So pretty simple. Now let's get to the gasket. I'm gonna rip off the gasket because it was on the engine for testing. Make sure it fit. Looks gorgeous to me. Now I'm gonna wipe down the oil pan. I'm gonna throw a little bit more oil into the block, rotate it over. All right. Now we torque them to 18 pounds feet. I don't think there's a torque spec pattern on this, but I'm gonna work my way out from the inside. Get it in a nice way. It's on like Donkey Kong. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I need to get a oil filter, throw that on, and then we'll throw some oil in that thing and get it going. Perfect. Valve covers are back out now that we're done of everything else. Reason being, our bungs came in. Bung, B-U-N-G. 
So I'm gonna finish drilling out the hole to make sure that this is pretty well ready to fit in place. So my welder can get in there, tack it up. We can get the back and get these coated. So this is where the first bung is gonna be. Passenger side, we'll run the hose back to the catch can. And on the driver's side, it's right in there perfect. It will be at the back of the engine. So I was thinking about flipping them around and running the oil uh, fill cap over on the other side and have this bung where this bung is um, instead of running along the bottom. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna run it like this side or this side. Because this way here, I can run it along, you know, zip tie it to all these other wires that are gonna be here. It's away from the manifolds. My only concern is, can I put oil in it back here when it's in the car? I can play with that later. But these have to be welded first. And uh, we did pretty good today. So I think tonight I'm going to order valley cover, make sure my push rods are coming. And I think that's it. Maybe we'll do a steam port too. Factory steam port sucks. The steam piping, it's ugly. So valley cover definitely, because we're getting rid of the knock sensors and we'll go from there. So that's a little bit of that. Next video, I think what we'll do is we're gonna take a quick peek at the power glide, uh, just to see what we have. I know that there's a shaft in it, but I wanna see what else there is. Uh, I'm gonna open it up and take a peek and see what we need to order. Maybe touch up the paint. I'm not sure yet, because it's gonna be sitting for a little bit longer. And it's all new to me with these transmissions, so. But for now, uh, that's my video for today. Like and subscribe, guys. Uh, if you know anybody that might be interested in watching these videos, you know, Share the link. Let's get some uh, support out there. Uh, I, I enjoy what I'm doing and I hope you guys enjoy watching. Hopefully once it warms up, the videos will be a little bit more fun. We could get out in this thing, uh, play around, get out in the four wheeler, goof around, just be, you know, just have fun. Anyway guys, take care for now. I'm Billy Mac and welcome to my garage.